Hello again. Today we are simplifying radicals. So I'm sure you've seen this symbol before. This symbol is called a radical and any number that is inside here would be considered a radical. For instance, this radical can be simplified and the radical symbol means that we're looking for the square root and we know the square root of 4 and the square root of 4 is 2. We also know the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5. But what happens when we have a radical that looks like this? The square root of 20. Well, I don't know the square root of 20. So what I would do is I would look for the factors of 20. I would factor the number 20. And I know that 20 is 1 times 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. Now what I want to do is I want to look for the biggest square. Okay, and what I mean by the biggest square is what number on this list can I take the square root of and which one is the biggest if there are multiple. Well, we just saw the square root of 4. We know the square root of 4 and I don't see anything else on this list that is a perfect square. So what I will do is I'm going to break this up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And since I know the square root of 4 is 2, I'll simplify that to be 2 and I'll rewrite this as 2 times the square root of 5. And it can be written like this. So we would say 2 times the square root of 5 or just 2 square root 5. How about 27? Do you know the square root of 27? Well, I know the square root of 25 and I know the square root of 36, but I do not know the square root of 27. So what I will do is I will find the factors of 27. So the factors of 27 are 1 and 27, and 3 and 9. That's about all I know. Now, do you know the square root of any of those numbers? I know the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite this as the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. And since I know the square root of 9, which is 3, I'll rewrite this as 3 times the square root of 3. And that is how you simplify radicals.